question. Content creators know to actually ask people. Hi. Like, Why are you guys just out just chasing clout, trying to get a name or get some some views? Well, that you ain't work for. Hello. How are you? Ooh, you might want to move your face back. Hello. I'm wonderful. There we go. What do you got for me? <clears throat> um. So I am 28. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and okay. um. I guess I just I, you know I want to know why you know what what my what my stats are like. For what? Uh, like you know. I don't, I don't know what you what do you mean stats for what? Cause you know I want to be married or whatever. I want to be in a relationship, but I feel like maybe I'm a little too picky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think are you being I'm, serious or are you trolling me? No, I'm being very serious. I think I could be a little bit too picky, but I would like to. What hear. do you mean? Well, picky meaning what? Um, I mean, I just want a guy that like you know is successful, um, a provider, a leader, and you know. But I feel like, do I have children? No, I don't. You go to college. Our, um, I graduated. I have my bachelor's. In what? Psychology. Uh, do you want children? I do. How many? Um, I would like, you know, maybe like two or three. Okay. And do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Um, I think working is normal. I, I don't have a problem working. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Yes. <clears throat> How much would you need to make in Atlanta to raise three children in the middle class? Um, I think uh, me and my husband would probably need like a combined income of like 150000 a year. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> With three children? Well, okay, well, let's say this progressively over time, because you're not just going to have like three children all at once. So the idea is like by the third child, I think we should have built wealth to at least like 200,000 annually. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, and it's close to the 350,000 for three kids. Oh, okay, that's fair. And how much is a psychology? How much are you going to make of that? Um, so currently I make like right around like 80,000 a year. Um, mm -hmm. And the idea, I actually am currently working towards like building my income substantially. So the idea yeah, is hopefully. But, but after you start, after you're married, pregnant, and having kids, you're not going to be working full time. Yeah. So the idea is but that. You're not going to be working full time. Yeah, the, the idea is always to, to somehow become phantom rich before you start having babies. That's not how life works. Okay. You work so you're, and you live. But you're saying how I need more money? Do you have? Um, I have like 15000 in loans. Well, consumer debt. I don't have any consumer debt. Okay, how tall are you? I'm five foot three. Dress size? Um, I'm like a four. <laughs> A four, four, five. You mind backing the camera up? My face looks a lot heavier. I hold a lot of weight in my face, but I'm I'm petite. Do that so we can see up and down. I don't really well, I don't really have like real clothes on right now. I kind of have. I I, re I recently had surgery, so I have like um. What kind of surgery? Like, um, I don't. I don't want to blast myself. You got like six thousand. <laughs> okay. I How much? What's the most you've ever weighed? Share. What's the most you've ever weighed? Um, a hundred and one hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you look a little. You look much bigger than a dress size. I mean, I, I know I'm you got not, a full trust face, me. but. Okay. No, I'm not. But I'm you're not, still talking I'm not, about I'm not. 
I said, I said, okay, but I'm still saying you're still talking about a man in the top. 8% of earners. Eight, top 8% eight of earners. So, okay, so I, I listened to your live with like the last lady and I felt like you were like, okay, you're 44. So I guess my question to you is for like a, a, a woman in her mid twenties, just an average woman, like what should be your, like what should be the goal? Because honestly, I feel like, you know, hearing- you to stand you... still and I need you to stay still in one place. People oh. are watching this. Oh, sorry. Um, like, because I mean, especially here in Atlanta, I feel like- Hold men... on, let me, add, let me ask you a question. An average woman? Yeah, what'd your, mother, what'd your father do for a living? Uh, my father, he's um, a professor. He's a chairman at a university and my mom's a pharmacist. Okay, okay. They're above average, but they went to college. But I mean, average people get average people. Yeah. What's an average? What's the average black man making in this country? Um, you said fifty thousand. So. Yeah, well, actually, it's forty-two, but fifty is still. I mean, uh, how old are you again? Twenty-eight. Uh huh. Have you ever dated a man making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year? I have. How long ago was that? Um, I mean, most of them. Hold on, hold on. When I say date, I mean Siri. Did you just roll your eyes? You said what? Did you just roll your eyes? No, no, no. That was, I was thinking. I was okay. like thinking. Okay. When I say date, I meant y'all were Facebook, you know, this is my man, he's claiming you. I'm not talking about, he's got another girlfriend, y'all monogamous. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever dated a man making that kind of money? Yeah, the last guy I dated. Uh, how long How long did you guys date? Um, We were friends for a while. And how so long did y'all date? Uh, for like a year. All right, and why didn't that go anywhere? He, he, um, I think because of his um, earning potential, he got, like, I feel like, so he was like a plastic surgeon and I feel like he start. so we started dating when he entered residency and like, I just feel like he got big headed. Like he realized like all the women that were chasing him and he's like. No, no, no. <laughs> no. He, he, I guess. No, no, listen. Okay, listen. Excuse me? We had a difference in values. Well, values. not really, not really, because you're talking about the way he started looking at his potential the same way you rolled your eyes and I said, my black man made 40,000. No, 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 no. Like he, okay, so he started saying like he wants to have like a polygamous family and he don't believe in, like he just, the things and he- And if that's what he wants, he can get it. And he can. I, I'm right. fully believe right. he can. Because why? Because he's in the top 8% of black men and top earners. And you ask me, man, um, you got to rank yourself. Well, where would you rank yourself? Um, I I mean, I think I'm like a, you know, like a, a seven. I don't do sevens. You say you don't do sevens? No. Nope. What is that like? What, do you, what does that mean? You can't rate. You can't use seven because everybody wants to use seven. Zero to ten, you can't use seven. Now you guys see why I don't use seven because everybody wants to use seven as a safe number. Okay, uh, uh, seven point five. No, no, no version of a seven. Okay, eight. Okay, eight. Okay. And you, you, all right now. If you now, I'm gonna say something, okay? Now, maybe that's just expressive, but if you're doing all that shit with your face, I'm gonna tell you to get up off my phone. That's not cool, young lady. I'm, not a game. I, I'm just an expressive person. It's not disrespect. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, you would do this. You would do this shit in church or in the college class. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, you asked me for my professional advice, so can you respect the platform? I sure can. 
Thank you. An eight. You give yourself an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, who else would you rank in the eight category as far as like famous people, musicians, movie stars, that kind of stuff? Oh, okay. Um, uh, an eight as a famous person? Mm -hmm. Like, in like a ratio? Like, not no, no, like Beyonce is an eight. No, Beyonce is not an eight. Who's the image consultant in the real life? Okay. So you think Beyonce is an eight? I think Beyonce is a 10. No, she's not. Okay. Beyonce is an eight. Kelly Rowland would be a nine. And Rihanna, even with her big forehead, would be a 10. Okay. So by giving yourself an eight, you put yourself in the category where Beyonce is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not an eight. Are you in the category with Beyonce? I mean, no. This is one of the major issues. You ladies don't know how to rank yourself. So when somebody like myself comes along with some truth, most people in my profession will give Beyonce an eight. And many black women will give her a 10 because you want to guys want to give yourself higher numbers. So are you in her category or not in her category? No, nah, I'm not I'm not Beyonce. Okay. I mean we're talking about just from the face. Oh, okay. Okay, then what then what would you give yourself if you know understand Beyonce is an eight? Okay, baby, I'm like a six. Which is closer to reality. Because by giving yourself an eight, you automatically put yourself in the pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous of all women across the world. And I'm sorry, at 28 years old, your lived life has told you that you're likely not there. Not in the comment section. Are you reading the comments? You said what? I said, were you reading the comments? I haven't really seen any of the comments. Okay, what, good. What they so ultimately, what I'm trying to get you to understand is, um, you carry, you carry. Don't look in the comment section. You you carry your weight in your face. Okay. Um, and, and you said that you've uh, recently had surgery, so. That typically means stuff like. To, oh my gosh, this is on my page. No, it's not. It's on my page. Okay. This is showing up on my page. Awkward as hell. Well, I mean, life is life. <laughs> and I haven't been, I mean, here's the thing though, man. Whoever you are on here, live stream or wherever that's who you are in the real world mm -hmm. and if you're wanting a man who's going to be in the top earners of black men mm -hmm. that's an extremely competitive place to be i said that's top that's two percent of men i mean but what if what if your goal like i mean i i don't think income is really one of the first things i look at when it comes to a man uh, but it's but it is a factor based upon what you want as far as an outcome. The amount of ch okay, you want three children, two to three children. Are you content with having to share a car? Are you content with having to drive something like uh, oh I don't know, uh, what's an inexpensive fifteen twenty thousand dollar car? Are you content with driving a twenty thousand dollar car this for the rest of your life? Are you content in living in like an eighty thousand dollar ninety thousand dollar home? East Point, Decatur, College Park. I mean, I mean, most people don't earn college money. Most people are normal people. See now, now shit gets real because we start the backpedaling. But it's like, I mean, well, no. I, I just the reality. Is, I feel like the reality is you want a different, you want a lifestyle of a white collar, middle class to upper middle class person. 
Because that's what your mother and father sound like they had. Pharmacist, and I, professor. I, You're breaking up. I want, I, I believe that my parents, my parents worked hard and they afforded a pretty decent life for me. And they came here as immigrants and they weren't rich. So the, I like the idea that I have to. All right, but the difference is the difference, is the difference is you're not them. You were born with Western sensibilities. Well, I I came. I wasn't born here in America. I was with born in Western Nigeria. Western sensibility. Okay. Western sensibilities, man. But what I'm what I'm saying much, okay, is okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Atlanta, Georgia, but you I'm live with your parents. Yes, I live with my parents. Why? To save money to build my business. Okay. Have you ever lived on your own? Yes, I did. All right. Um, so you live with your parents to build your business. So, if somebody's making eighty thousand dollars, you 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 would be okay with the man making half of what you're making. I would be okay with a man making half of what I'm making if he had a plan and a vision. See, for see guys, see, see, this is what it always comes down to. I'd accept it as long as he had ambition. See, this always comes down. Listen, no, 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 no. We know where this goes, man. You, you, something's wrong with your speaker. Okay. No, the average person, the average black man in this country earns $42,000. There's no more money. There's no more ambition. There's no money tree. There's no side hustle. That's what the French toast they earn. Half of the men earn that. I mean, it, but Can what Can you what listen I'm, and understand that? I do understand. I completely understand. All right, understand. and then the men that earn more than that want a hell of a lot more, like your ex-boyfriend who told you, oh, I'm an above average earner. I'm going to go get the moon and the stars because most guys earn less than me. Is okay, so then can I ask you Listen, a question? the men that you want, the income, the lifestyle, no matter how you want to slice it, how you want to pretty it up, I've been, this is not my first rodeo. Please stop looking in the comment section. Look at, look ahead and think. Of, oh, sorry. You're looking down there. It looks like you're not looking here. When you're, at the end of the day, man, you can pretty it up, but you want a certain kind of lifestyle. It's a white class, a white collar lifestyle. Mm hmm. All right. So let me ask you this. Can oh, I ask Jesus. a question? If that's okay. Can I? So for women who have realistic goals, who may be like, I guess what I'm trying to say, is it okay to want a man that has a, a average earning potential and you guys are able to, to build to have more in the future. Like, I, I feel like sometimes you kind of discuss No, 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 you're not the builder. That's why I stopped you. No, you roll your eyes one more time and I'm going to uh, hang this shit up. I don't do that, young lady. Okay. I want the French toast is wrong with you. But you know what I do know? Is this how you act on the phone? You are a trip in a relationship. And I've tried to be really nice to you. For acting the way you do. Bucking your eyes and shit. This is live. People are looking. Okay, so I'm going to get off live because I feel like you're being a little out.